here we have just one shape so no more two shapes um but one shape and we're looking for the length of side c we're given that the area of the triangle is 128 and b is equal to 2a so here we're probably going to want to use pythagorean because we're looking at side lengths of a triangle and we're given this information about the area so we know that the area of the circle is equal to one half of the base times the height and we also our other equation that we're going to want is going to be the a squared plus b squared equals c squared for a right triangle so from the first one we can get a little bit more information about a and b so here we can plug in 128 because that's our area and it should equal one half times b times a and the other thing we know is we know that b is equal to 2a so we could substitute this part in for 2a and if we do that then we get that 128 equals one half times two is just going to give us one a times a is going to give us a squared so we can actually get then that a is equal to the square root of 128 and from that we can go over to here and we're trying to figure out what c squared equals so we know what a squared is, it's actually right here, we don't even need it in the form of what a is, plus b squared, but b is really equal to 2a, so 2a squared, and that's going to equal c squared. So here when we plug in, we have 128 plus, this is really going to be 4a squared, so 128 plus 4 times 128, which equals c squared. And here we can just plug this in and do that c is going to be equal to the square root of 5 times 128. So this to the 1 half, or you can use your little square root sign on your calculator and that would be the final answer. So something that I'd recommend too with these problems, because you're gonna be using multiple equations, is to write them out at the beginning and to basically see, okay, if I'm dealing with side lengths of a triangle, I'm probably gonna need Pythagorean unless I have a 30, 60, 90 or a 45, 45, 90. If I just have a right triangle, I'm going to need that equation. And then if I'm dealing with area or perimeter, which is what we're going over right now, then I'm going to need the equation for the area or perimeter of that shape. And I'm probably going to want to write that down and go from there. So these problems really aren't too difficult as long as you keep them straight, look for relationships between shapes, etc. cetera. Um, but yeah, that's it. So Thank you again for watching educator.com and I will see you in future SAT math videos.